As for the laws already on the books, we asked a gun store owner how they get enforced. Okay. Ed Chavez spent more than 20 years in law enforcement with Tucson police. He opened RNA Tactical several years ago. Chavez explained the steps he takes to sell a gun. When a customer comes in and finally decides to purchase uh, a firearm, they obviously they have to produce an Arizona driver's license or an Arizona ID card. The information on that card has to match the information that they put on what we call a 4473. Chavez reviews the information with the customer to make sure it's correct. The customer then signs and dates the form. From there, Chavez copies the information before calling the FBI for a background check. The process can take as little as 15 minutes. Now, if they have an Arizona concealed carry permit, that will exclude me calling in a background check to the FBI. Without a CCW permit, I will call the FBI, give them the personal information, they will do a background check on the person and either proceed him, delay him, or deny. Delays can happen when a person's name is similar to another name in the FBI system. Let's say that they try to buy a gun on a Monday, they'll be delayed three business days. On that fourth day, they can come in and pick up their firearm, even if I haven't heard from the FBI background check. Okay. You can just move forward? I can just move forward. All right, and they will tell you that on the phone. If you do not hear from us on this, by this date, the customer can come in and pick up that gun. If the FBI calls back for a denial, Chavez tells the agency the customer has already picked up the firearm. He then sends a copy of the 4473 form to the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms, which is then tasked with finding that customer. Chavez recently sold a firearm to a man who's also a convicted felon but he had his rights restored by the state. His voting rights and his gun rights. A month later, they called me and said he was denied. So I sent a copy to the ATF and they in turn contacted that gentleman and he told the ATF, hey, my rights have been restored. They went and found court documentation of that. They let him keep the gun. I don't have any extra mags for that gun. Uh, all, all the federal government Wilson. does not care that the state has given you your rights back. So if you call in a background check, the FBI is going to deny that person. So what a lot of people do is they'll take their Arizona concealed carry permit class, get their permit, that way there's no call in for a background check, and they skip or avoid that portion of it, which is totally legal.